talk about your dad and tell me, tell me the effects of some of your crazy ideas on your father. Yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> full disclosure, full disclaimer here. This again is not a clinical trial and it's not going to be published in a journal anytime soon. But my family are a bunch of scientists. My wife's a scientist from MIT. My father's a biochemist. And we can read scientific papers. My father, believe it or not, at age 80, is an independent individual. And he has chosen uh, to, to take my research uh, seriously and has been convinced by himself, not by me, uh, to try things because he knows what the odds are in his old age of things going wrong. By age 80, most people have at least two or three uh, major diseases that are being treated. He started taking resveratrol early, uh, one of the first people in the world. Uh, this is now going back 13 years ago. And so far, so good. He takes a gram or so a day. And the reason I say, Steve, or so is we, in my family, we have powder. We just spoon it into yogurt and mix it around. It's important to dissolve it in something for it to be absorbed. We know that from human studies. And just to, to dwell on resveratrol for a little bit, um, people go back and forth on resveratrol. Uh, I can tell you in my lab, we've We've definitely proven how it works. Uh, we have new results that I haven't published, but we we have had a science paper that that was very positive and showed that it's working through the the sirtuin pathway that we work on. And we have new results that really nail it. You know, I don't. I very rarely say we proved anything, but this experiment that we've done uh, has proven that it works the way we said it did. But also, what's really encouraging is that there are human studies that are now showing that resveratrol does many of the things that we saw in mice many years ago, protects people from high fat, a high fat diet and reduces blood sugar levels, uh, which is, is great. You know, part of the reason that there were, there were negative results, I think, in people is that the, the researchers didn't realize that you need to dissolve resveratrol into something that allows it to be absorbed. And when you do that, you get five-fold higher levels in the blood. Uh, so getting back to my father, uh, he's been on resveratrol. He's now on metformin. He's been on metformin for probably six years now because he had high blood sugar. Everyone in my family uh, dies early from diabetes-related uh, complications or heart disease. And he's now the longest-lived person in our family, uh, at least in the, on the male side. Uh, and then he started adding NMN, which is an NAD-boosting molecule, the same one I take. Uh, he did that, started that about three years ago. And those are the main things. Now, if people want to learn exactly what we do, and it's a, it's a long list, uh, page 304, you can skip to that in my book, uh, but you'll miss all the good stuff. It's in here. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Steve. But, the, but also in part two of the book, the middle section, it's about things you can do with your daily life, about what to eat, when to eat, what to do with exercise, that the, the science backs up. And... Steve, you and I have a lot in common in how we approach our daily lives and what we think will improve health. Anyway, I'll, I'll just finish to say that my father is 80. He has no illnesses. He has no aches or pains. He's got as much energy as he did when he was in his 20s and 30s. And mentally uh, and physically, he, he can outpace me. Um, and so, yeah, so far, so good. He's a beacon of hope for all of us.